yeah. always something good going yeah, on. We and thankfully they were able to have it going on is because yeah. we had those storms really kind of just roll through. And it mm -hmm. cooled things down a, a, a tick, at it, least. It did, but the problem is it's so humid that mm -hmm. when it rains, it just... <laughs> Sticky. Yeah, it gets sticky. That's a good word. It's, it's like just not. It's not the, the relief you really want, but it's better. It's definitely the, better. No air you can wear. Now oh. there you go. I love <laughs> That's that. That's it. That's the one. You really Justin. feel like it coats you when you go outside. Mm. Just like well, just what we want. <laughs> a nice coat. Oh, a nice yes. coat of humidity. Uh, of course. And you know we felt it in Seneca, but you know we had a storm move through, and then there's that rainbow along 123. Uh, this is actually an area we frequent quite a bit. This used to be Aritas right here, and uh, love this. Love this spot and so it's just such a pretty view um, in Seneca, not too far from the Walmart. Thanks to Diana for sending this picture in. If you want to submit your shots of rainbows, sunsets, or of storms, just never put yourself in harm's way. You can submit those at foxcarolina.com. First alert radar is clear for the most part. We just have a few light showers left in Newberry, Greenwood, and scattered light showers in Northeast Georgia. Uh, but those are going to be dissipating. No more storms tonight and temperatures dropping down into the low 70s. A little patchy fog where we had some of the heavier downpours today. Upper 60s in the mountains. And looking ahead to tomorrow afternoon, highs will be in the low 90s in the mountains as well as the upstate 93 there in Greenville, 92 in Clemson. Look how it's going to feel. When you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like triple digit heat for several hours tomorrow afternoon. So just be careful out there. Don't exert yourself too much and make sure to drink lots and lots of water. Be around some water like a pool or head to the lake. The next big thing is going to be the cool down. We have one more day. Sunday looks like our hottest day at 96 for the actual temperature and humid, uh, so it'll feel more like 105. But then by Tuesday, 88 degrees and less muggy. A cold front's going to come in to bring that effect. Uh, but right now, uh, we're not going to feel those effects for the next couple days. In fact, it's going to be hot. Here's Saturday morning. We'll stay nice and dry early, but then the afternoon's going to bring a few extra clouds, some spotty showers in the mountains at 4 p.m. But notice what happens. We've got these storms to our north. Those are going to roll in towards 6, 7, 8 o'clock across the upstate. So late day into the evening, this will help to cool things down but should be pretty quick. But uh, just know that any storm that does develop could produce some gusty wind and, of course, that dreaded lightning this time of year. And then things will begin to clear up Sunday, but Sunday afternoon we'll have another chance for a few pop-up storms. So staying hot, staying with those afternoon storms, but then we get into next week and things will start to look up. It dries out a bit. We'll be looking at temperatures in the upper 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Slight chance for rain by Thursday and Friday. But overall, uh, keeping it fairly dry. So your best opportunity to get a good soaking for your backyard will likely be this weekend as opposed to next week. Uh, with temperatures at least cooling down a bit in the mountains.